welcome back to Just One Question. And none of us thought we'd still be here at this point in 2021, but yet here we are. And if you have to spend lockdown with anybody, I'm recommending you spend it with my next guest, Andrew Davis, because he rocks it. He is a former TV producer. He knows how to do this stuff already. I don't even have to teach him anything. He's going to teach me by osmosis. Um, he turned into a marketing pro. What he doesn't know about the speaking business isn't worth knowing. And he's uh, uh, an amazing speaker himself, constantly getting those rave reviews and, and, and those uh, uh, 5.0000 ratings. And that's not on a scale of 10. That's on a scale of five. Andrew, welcome. <laughs> How the heck are you? Hey, I'm good. I'm, I'm so excited uh, that uh, that we get a chance to chat just for a few minutes, and I'm really excited. This is what a great question. How am I? I'm doing great. I'm having a really good time in the virtual world, and I can't wait to get back to in-person events. So I'm I'm doing great. I'm glad to hear it, and uh, I'd love to pick your brain if we had time, but we don't. But if we did, I'd nope, love to. That was to... it. That was the yeah. one question. We're done. <laughs> no, this has been no, so wait. much fun, guys. Thank you. <laughs> Don't go away yet. I do have a question to ask you. The other one wasn't, uh, gosh, I'm sorry. You got me. You know, this is, it's not just one question. It's actually two questions. Oh, false advertising, but yeah, I'll, you, I'll, I'll, I'll give you a bonus. That was a throwaway question. Hmm. Let's do a real question for just one question. Thank you. I deeply appreciate your kindness, your generosity. It's a special episode of just another question. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Okay. Yeah. All right. So just one question. <laughs> we are finally seeing the light at the end of the tunnel here on this pandemic. We all hope to be back to whatever our normal lives are going to be like. Um, maybe third quarter this year, maybe a little later, who knows, but sometime this year we're hoping. Um, and yet we will be different by the time we get back together. Uh, the, the pandemic the, this ordeal we've been through has changed us all. So my question to you is, how will we be different? When we get back together, what will we have learned that's changed us? How will we be different, better, worse? Take it any way you want. You're up. Yeah. Okay. All right. I think, look, I think, um, I think it will be different. I did a, an in-person event in November uh, in a room set for 450 people. And there were only 20 people allowed in the, in the venue at a time. And I did the same keynote four times and everybody was wearing masks. Um, and so I think in the near term, it'll feel very, very different. You know, I talked to a lot of event producers who are spending a lot of time, money and energy ensuring that events are going to be safe. You know, they're bringing EMTs on site. They're creating separate rooms in case anybody feels like they have any symptoms. You know, everybody's going to be wearing a mask. We still won't be shaking hands. So mm -hmm. I, it's going to feel really different in the near term. That is for sure. I think over time, things are going to change. And, uh, you know, I think it will start to feel normal probably in a year or two or more normal, more the old normal, <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, the way it used to be. Maybe we'll be able to hug people again um, and sneeze without getting a scared look uh, from mm -hmm. the people in the row near you. You know, we'll still be socially distanced. And I think it poses for a speaker a lot of challenges. You know, it's it, it's hard to uh, to really feel like you're engaging with an audience that's got half of their face covered, um, <laughs> and so we're going to have to work really hard to earn everybody's trust and to ensure that we're we're you know we're adding value to events. We're also going to see lots more hybrid events. So. Uh, you know, I talked to a lot of event producers who are excited to get back in person, but know that a lot of people aren't comfortable yet and may not be into 2022. So mm -hmm. they're ready to provide, you know, an online experience for the people that don't feel safe and comfortable and an in-person experience for those that are ready to go. So for speakers, you got to be ready and excited about, you know, addressing an audience that isn't there as well and get to use cameras that are in the room um, so that everybody feels welcome and the event feels whole. So that's what I see. That's that's how I see the next, uh, you know, the next year or two. I have uh, a feeling you're right. You are a a wise and 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 uh, and and deeply ingenious prognosticator. So I I have a feeling that uh, that uh, you won't be far off. And and that's really interesting. And I can't resist one follow up question just because. Um, it's okay. We changed the name to just another question. Just so another now question. It's, we can go as long as you want. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, thanks. So if you, as a former t TV producer, you have a lot of experience and familiarity with this, uh, the, 
the very similar situation that we find ourselves in now working with computers and, and, and cameras and so on and so forth. If there was one piece of advice you would give to speakers who are still finding their way in this new space, uh, yeah. what would you say? I'd, I'd say embrace the constraints. You know, hmm. uh, you might feel like being stuck at your desk, speaking into a lens is really lame and you don't have the great audience interaction. But if you embrace the constraints and you really start to think to yourself, hey, look, what can I do in a camera or with a virtual event that I could never do on stage? It starts to open up lots and lots of possibilities and you can start to have fun with the technology and your audience and the experience you provide. So embrace the constraints and start to look for inspiration outside of the event space. You know, Watch live television shows. Uh, I watched um, Pioneer Woman very early on in the pandemic and realized that they were shooting the entire half hour Food Network episode with just a bunch of, uh, you know, consumer technology. And she was using her kids who were home from college uh, as her crew. And the show looks great. I mean, it's, it's different, but it, she's using technology we could all use. So embrace the constraints and start thinking about creating something that's very different from an in-person experience and something you could only do in this little square here. And I think you'll have lots more fun with it. I love that idea. Yeah, don't don't see it as a, a just a, a restriction and, and a, a lesser thing, but have fun with it. Once again, Andrew Davis nails it. Thank you, sir. Thank you for humoring me with multiple questions. It's great to see you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Bye, everyone.